here at Lenaro Connect in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm with Mark Orbeck. Mark, you're new to Lenaro. Yep. Um, can you tell people a little bit about what you do and what your title is at Lenaro? Yes, so I'm the director of the Colonel Working Groups, which is actually a threesome. There's the Colonel Working Group itself, Graphics Working Group, and Power Management Working Group. So I basically manage the, the teams there and the tech leads uh, work with me directly to figure out what we do in general across the kernel space. So right now we're, we're here in, in Copenhagen and looking out six months from now, while we have monthly releases, we are already looking six months out to our next Connect. Mm -hmm. What can the community see from you and your team over these next six months? Well, the kernel groups are really focused upstream. So we do have these monthly releases, and those are the integration points. Some, but not all, of the patches that are in flight are going to hit the, the monthly releases. So the goal is to focus on upstream and, where possible, integrate those in the monthly cycles. So the uh, people interested in the work we're doing can just participate in, by looking at what we're doing on the Git trees, you know, being part of the mailing list, being part of IRC, so we're on free node. Uh, Pound Lenaro is the general one, but there's one for every specific team like Lenaro um, dash kernel and so on. So there's lots of ways to participate and you don't have to wait for those monthly events, the six month events or anything. Uh, the better, in fact, it's better to get involved early, especially with the kernel because it's some stuff takes a very long time to hit the upstream process. Now, this is your first connect as I understand it. Yep. What, what's, your, what's your impressions of this, of this first connect? Well, it's, in, it's impressive, actually. It, it sounds a little odd to have these things called hacking sessions. Which, so we have these presentations up front, typically in the morning, and then in the afternoon all the teams go off into a group and they kind of meet together and, and start working on code. And it's a time to actually physically be face-to-face, -face, where obviously when we're a fully distributed organization, people don't get a chance to do that. And, and I just, when I first thought about it, I said, well, how much can they really do? But if you walk into those rooms, they're just, they are really hacking away, interacting with each other. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, the other thing is just how many people are here. I mean, well over 300. Um, I actually had heard about Lenaro before I joined it a while ago, and I, actually I attended one very early event just for a day, and there were many fewer people then. So the growth in Lenaro uh, and the growth that's coming uh, this next year is uh, really awesome. And, and, and speaking of growth, um, how would, what direction, um, well beyond that six month, well beyond our ne at next connect, um, looking out over the next year, um, and even beyond, if being optimistic and, and looking forward, when the talk of that unified kernel, that Z kernel, mm -hmm. what excites you about that? And why is that so important? Well, the, the ARM uh, situation over the last several years has been very fragmented. And that's been a complaint by Linus and many others in the kernel community is, you know, every board, every platform would have a driver that was the same driver as another one. So you had these thousands of branches. And it was just horrendous to maintain. And one of the things that Lenaro has done over the last year is to, you know, cut a lot of that cruft out unify things and the goal uh, an interim goal is actually to get as you said to a single uh, Z image one binary that will boot many platforms and we're going to demonstrate that this Friday so that's pretty exciting but if we look beyond that obviously that the shift that's coming is is ARMv8 and there's a lot of work that's been going on obviously with ARM there's some, been some early work with Lenaro as well so we're going to see that really become a really major shift in 2013. Obviously not for products yet, but a lot of the early development. Because uh, we're now in simulation. They'll be for silicon hopefully sometime next, late next year. And that means that uh, you got a lot of software work to do to actually, once you really hit hardware, is to find where things are timing events that aren't quite working and, you know, race conditions and stuff that just only surface when you get to real silicon. I know we had the, the RMV8, the 64-bit mini, summit um, mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Did any plans for that future come out of that or was that more of an informational summit or or what really happened during that summit? I think it was a lot of information. You know, what's the current state of V8? What's the current state of the the simulation models? Uh, how you can use them? Uh, what are the limitations? But uh, there is some planning going on kind of uh, in different meetings that happen outside of the summit itself. But so I think the summit really was primarily there to get information out so people understood what's, you know, what's the sequence of events from here on out. 
you know, our motto here at Lenaro is um, building the future of Linux on ARM. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's always exciting to have new people come in and, and, and new positions and, and the direction that we're going. Did you think when you joined or when you first heard of Lenaro, or even before you heard of Lenaro, that you would be so close to that future? No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's actually really cool. I mean, I, I really like the, f the, the kind of the R&D side, and, and that's pushing the envelope to get to future products. So the work we're doing now uh, that Lenaro has actually done before I joined is, you know, been focused around Big Little as an example, and new products will start to hit the market in 2013 based on the work that was started really two years ago. So, I mean, you're really kind of, uh, from a working on product perspective, you're really in the early cycle, and that's really fun because you get to, well, there's some hard work, but you also get to see and make things really happen that will make an impact on stuff in the two or three year time frame, which is really cool. I think it's always interesting, especially with the kernel, uh, kernel engineers, because you do see the payoff. You might not see it that year, mm -hmm. but you will see it eventually once it makes it in right. um, upstream. Now, there's going to be some changes in the way, Lenaro, um, some of our releases that people see and what our focus is going to be. Can you talk a little bit about what those changes are going to be? Yeah, I don't have all the details yet because some of the changes are still in process. But um, one change that isn't relative to our builds yet, and I'll get to the build in just a second, is the fact that uh, ARM in general has been focused about board enablement, SOC enablement. And that's been a lot of the work over the, the several years. Uh, and what's changing now is that with Lenaro, we're actually working in, in upstream features that uh, will help ARM for sure, but they're actually changing the kernel and how it works around the scheduler and so on. So that's new for ARM, it's new for Lenaro, and that's, I think, for the kernel engineers that are involved in Lenaro now, that's, that's something they've been looking forward to. So that's coming. And then we've been doing something called Linux um, Lenaro evaluation builds which are, uh, you know, a, a form of evaluating the set. They've been meant for both our evaluation internally, but also for member evaluation. Those are changing. We're going to focus around engineering builds and member builds. So the engineering builds are going to be focused on what's needed to make the working group successful. And there's more wor working groups than just the ones in my area. There's also the tool chain and some others. So <clears throat> the idea is to make sure that the work that we need to uh, prep for for upstream is getting evaluated. Uh, so they're really focused on what the working groups needs. And then the member builds are specific builds that help pull in integration of specific features that that member needs. Um, you know, they obviously need the general set, but there's some specific things because of special board enablement that their uh, particular platform has. And those are focused around what that member needs. If they happen to have a landing team, which is a concept within Lenaro, then they can you know, work through some of that features there. But so we're splitting it up into being able to be more effective for both. Instead of one or the other, it's now both. So as the community sees this video and, and, and sees where the direction of, of the current working groups are going mm -hmm. and, and the direction of Lenara, and they're so excited that they want to get involved with what we're doing and what your team specifically is doing, how do they get involved with your team? Well, one thing that's cool about Lenara is that absolutely open organization so it's not a commercial company it's an it's a software engineering open software engineering co uh, organization so uh, it's easy to get involved if you go to the lenaro.org uh, you go to our wiki page uh, and you can get on the mailing list there you can see what we're doing you can see you get the patch sets you can get the releases uh, you can participate as, as i said in irc uh, Pound Lenaro is the starting one, but you know if you're interested in kernel or interested in graphics or you know whatever the area of interest is, you can look at the channel list and, and hop on there. People are very friendly, pretty responsive. Um, in kernel, you know sometimes kernel folks are a little elusive in other organizations, but here at Lenaro, it's it's fully open. So uh, I think it's very unique in that sense, I think, uh, very different from some of the other organizations. And the other aspect is sometimes in the kernel, uh, uh, the kernel, kernel.org, the people are a little bit rough about their responses to people. I think uh, organization is uh, focused on being a little bit more polite <laughs> and helping you when necessary. They certainly will tell you when uh, you need to go look at the code before you start asking some questions, but I think it's a little more friendly environment than what you might see in standard open source. 
I have to agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on more levels uh, and in more ways than one. Is there anything that I haven't asked you about today um, that you'd like to tell people about? I think we've covered most of it. I think the great thing is for me joining Lenaro, I've only been here a couple months, is it's working with a great set of people. I mean, this is uh, really cool. And the fact that Lenaro is growing. We're adding, there's going to be a major announcement uh, later today, which I think people will be very excited about. It's a new move um, that I can't say any more about it now, but it's, it, that'll be very cool. And that will cause growth as well. And we had new members joining already. We announced new members this week. So uh, this is a great time to be at Lenaro. Mark, I'm glad you're on board. I'm glad I get the opportunity on a personal level to, to work with you uh, mm -hmm. every day at Lenaro. And thank you so much for sitting down um, here in Copenhagen at, at Lenaro Connect with me today. Thanks, Amber.